Anyway, today we're looking at our chapter eight mid chapter checkpoint. It says, how can you tell without computing or doing your math problem whether a quotient, the quotient of one half divided by six is greater than one or less than one? So we're taking a what fraction, fraction and we're dividing one. that into a whole number. Yeah, which is six. six. <coughs> So we're going to have pieces that are Less one twelfth. Than. One twelfth are smaller than one. So written in words, it might sound like the quotient is less than one since I'm dividing a fraction into more parts. Two through seven say draw a number line or use fraction strips. So number two says three divided by one. So if I draw a number divided by one half, if I draw a number line and this is three and this is one, or that would be zero, and then I would have one and two. And I divide each of those in half. How many parts do I have now? One, six. two, three, four, five, six. So I should see a number line on those. Number five is having us do a fraction. So if I have a number line, and this is zero, and this is one, and I've divided it into thirds, and then I'm going to divide my thirds into four parts. So then each part is what? A twelfth. I would have four there, four here, and four here. So each part would be one twelfth. Okay, we're going to go on down and look at number eight. Stu, stu, two students share three granola bars equally. How many granola bars does each student get? If I have uh, and all you have to do is the number sentence here, but you could draw three granola bars. And we're splitting them between two people. So each person is going to get a half, a half, and a half. So they're going to get three halves or one and one half granola bars. Hey, on the back page are 352. We're going to look at number 12. It says, Carmine has eight liters of punch for a party. Each glass holds one fifth liter of punch. How many glasses can Carmine fill? So these are his eight liter bottles. And he's going to divide those into fifths. And our question is, how many one fifth liter glasses can he fill? So each one of these liters has how many glasses in it? Five. five. And five times eight is? Forty. Forty. So he can fill forty glasses. Okay? Uh, please finish this on your own.